Hey, hello everyone, it's Mike1211 here, and today I'm doing a bit of a different video. I'm doing a tutorial on how to set up a Simutron server. Now, I'm doing this because someone had mentioned on one of my other Simutron's videos that they wanted to, um, wanted to know if I knew how to set up a server, and I finally figured it out. Uh, Everton J was that person. Anyways, wait a minute, let's delete this. Okay, so, um... Yeah, it's not actually that hard. So, as you can see here, I have a shortcut to the normal Simutrons and one called Simutron Server. Now, to set up a server, you actually, it's a command line option. So, basically, just add this little thing to the end of it. This stuff doesn't matter. That just turns off the audio and music. But, add dash server and then space and then your port number that you're going to open it up on. Um... We'll get to that a little bit later. Basically, it just has to be an open port. And that's about it, as long as you're not going to open up two um, Simutrons games on the same computer. So, just... The default is 13353, but I am using 13356 because I am going to open up on the same computer. So, let's just do that now that you've seen that command. And this, you can choose any pack you want. Um, but make sure... Really? I guess, I guess no music is not the command. Turn the music off. Anyways, um... So yeah, here we go. We've got a game. I've started up the map, and so now the server is actually running. So if we open up this normal Simutrons... Um, what happened there? Okay. And then we say, play online. And that is way too loud in my ear holes. One second. We say, play online. If we put in my IP, which is... If you've ever used servers before, you know that this always represents your own computer. So, and put in that IP and port number. Um, so you put your IP and then semicolon, semicolon, no colon. So I, <laughs> ID colon one three three five six or whatever your port number is. So it's IP colon port number. And if we query that, it'll come up with the map and everything down here. And then if we say play online, as you see, it loaded up the game and it did this. Okay, so that's pretty basic. That's just to prove that it works. Now, if you're going to want to, if you're setting up a server, you're probably going to want to play with friends. So, if you're doing it just by a LAN connection, which means you're all on the same local network, um... Put, type in ipconfig into a command prompt, as you can see I've done here. And this is my current connection. And here is my IP address. Use this on... Use this IP address that you find here to connect to your computer from a different computer. And use the same port number every single time. Port number will always be the same to connect to the server's port. Um... So yeah, and I can even prove that right here. Let's see here. If I say new game... Um... Let, let me just restart the non-server Simutrons. And we'll do it again. Play online. And if I put that number in instead, it should also work. And then, of course, the port number, since I'm not using the default port number. And there it is. As you can see, same IP address. Alright. So that takes care of if you're in the same building with the same local network. But what about if you want to play with friends across the internet? Well, there's a couple options for this. And sadly, it's a little bit outside of the uh, scope of this tutorial. But... I do have a few ways for here. Um, if you use Log Me and Hamachi to do things, or Tungle, um, Tungle is the one that I use because it's completely free. Log Me only allows you to use it for so long. So unless if you have it, I would go with Tungle. 
Um, and Tungle allows for up to 20 people to play on your computer. And basically, these two applications um, set up allow you to set up networks that act like local area network connections. So as if you were in the same building on the same network. But in reality, they um, it, it basically connects your computers across the internet as if they were in the same building. So these will each have um, different IP addresses, which is actually shown here, as you can see. Tungle is considered its own Ethernet adapter, and I'm not running it right now, but if I were, it would come up with the same stuff here. It would show an address, and there's also a way in Tungle, if you are connected in a network, you just have to right-click on the person's name in the lobby, and you can find the IP address. But, as I said, that's th these two options are a bit outside of the scope, as is the last option, which is if you want anyone, and I do mean anyone, to be able to connect and play. Um, you use port forwarding. And for this to find the IP address, you're going to have to get your global IP address, which is um, the What's My IP on Google. Now, if you're just wanting to play with friends, I do not suggest port forwarding. It is probably one of the most complicated things to ever try to do, and it's different for every single router. And you have to have administrator privileges on your router to even get it to work. And basically, um, port forwarding, just use the port that the server is running on. In this case, I'm using 13356, uh, but you can use any port as long as you type it into that uh, command line in your shortcut. Again, it's right here. And there are other command line options, and I use them for recording, but um, that's not what we're getting in today. So... There's the command line option you need to use in here in the shortcut. And yeah, that's about it. This will let you um, play on a server. Now, it should be noted, actually, that um, it is very... I mean, I guess I should show you that these are indeed two... It's the same game as the server base. So there you go. I think we are playing as the same character. I don't know how to change that part particularly. I do know how to switch players. I uh, just come up here, press players. Basically, if you add another human, then one of you can play there, one of you can play the human player, and it's all good. So, it's really not that big of a deal, but right now it's kind of co-op. I don't know how to change those options or anything. You can figure that out as you go. Um... But yes, that that's about it. This should just work all the time. And um, what I was going to say is it's a pretty heavy load on the um, old system. So, like, uh, the page I found suggests 10 megabits of information per second. I would say that's true if you're going to do um, a lot of people. If you're doing one person... You're probably okay with general internet, but in that case also you can just use one of the uh, simple options such as Tungle. So, Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, leave a like if it helped you, and thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you all later. Bye bye!